to describe to you and, uh, and about which this uh, session is dedicated is one of the rare examples uh, you'll find in our science of serendipity. And uh, I'll explain more about how the serendipity played a role in the development of the Hurricane Aerosol and Microphysics Program. Our focus is uh, in producing scientific results that will lead to improved forecasting of both hurricane track, but especially improved forecasting on hurricane intensity changes. We are also evaluating the hur various hurricane mitigation hypotheses uh, as a secondary objective. And it was the secondary objective, in fact, that led to the formation of HAMP. Uh, we were asked at the uh, Global Systems Division in Boulder uh, to organize a workshop on uh, hurricane mitigation by a uh, undersecretary of science and technology in the Department of uh, Homeland Security and Homeland Security and Homeland Security. And this workshop was held in Boulder, it was sponsored by DHS, it was hosted in Boulder by ESRO uh, just a little over two years ago. Out of that, out of that has sprung the uh, Hurricane Aerosols and Microphysics Program. These are the key scientific objectives that we have in HAMP. We want to quantitatively test the most promising mitigation hypotheses by the use of rigorous uh, numerical simulations supported by uh, necessary observations of tropical cyclones. We wa also want to coordinate this, this particular program and uh, use data from the NOAA DHS Supported Wisdom Project and the Unmanned Aerospace Vehicles Project, Unmanned Aerospace Systems Project that NOAA is currently running with NASA and other agencies. The group feels very strongly and we think we'll demonstrate in this session is that not only are aerosols a vital component of atmospheric processes and they, they play roles in larger scale processes, but they also affect cloud microphysics and dynamics and that aerosols affect the cloud microphysics and dynamics in a very fundamental way, a very important way uh, that we feel has been neglected uh, in tropical cyclones. I should, should tell you that the HAMP project uh, was initially funded about 15 months ago, but we really didn't get the funding started until just barely a year ago. So the initial work you're going to hear about today is primarily looking at the role of very small submicron sized aerosols in tropical clouds and tropical cyclones. The other hypotheses that we've listed here uh, were, were uh, summarized at the workshop two years ago, and these might be addressed by our modeling and observational work if we go on to phase two in the HAP project. It turns out that some of our modeling results in HAMP are, are quite surprising in that regard, and that under certain circumstances, carbon black may actually increase hurricane intensity. And I'll let Professor Rosenfeld tell you more about that. The last one is, uh, again, looking at uh, relatively uh, large-scale changes uh, that might be uh, done in advance of hurricanes, both very expensive and very difficult. But we. The only one that we're really looking at is the focus initially on the first one. So this has a long history. If you go back to Gunn and Phillips over half a century ago, uh, they published some work that looked at the possible impacts of air pollution on the initiation of rain. So that this idea of looking at small CC and aerosols, we've suspected for years that, uh, you know, that they have an impact on uh, on small cloud systems or individual clouds. This is some work that uh, Rosenfeld published just a couple of years ago. And uh, this, is a, this explains uh, an apparent dichotomy in the role of aerosols. In some cases, uh, there's a chain of events in which aerosols can lead to floods. There are other, other situations in which they could actually decrease precipitation. And as uh, Professor Rosenfeld can tell you in more detail later, a lot has to do with uh, uh, his student, Michal Kluver. Uh, a, a lot has to do with the, uh, whether the cloud bases are warm or cold and the size distribution of the aerosols that affect those clouds. So both of these independent results 
suggested that aerosols could play a very important role in, uh, in, in both the weakening as, uh, of, of Hurricane Katrina. So both of these independent results uh, suggested that aerosols could play a very important role in, uh, in, in both the weakening as, uh, of, of Hurricane Katrina. And we hope, we hope in the near future, this summer, uh, hopefully, or next summer, to uh, put some new instrumentation that this project has paid for on one of the NOAA P3s to get data on real Atlantic uh, tropical cyclones.